Hello boys and girls, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to study module 2, project part 1. Now let's start with the objectives. By the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Identify details after reading a diary. 2. Learn how to use intensifiers very, so, really in a sentence. Guys, you will find this lesson in your student's book page 25 and your workbook page 19. Guys, look here. Here we have three forms of writing. Let's start with the form number one. Here we have a message that is written by someone. And here we have the address of the person who will send the message. But here we have the address of the person who will receive the message. Here we have the subject of the message, so it is an email. Now the form number two. We see a text about a famous person. And you can find this text in the newspaper or magazine. So it is an article. Now the form number three. Here we see someone wrote about a day in his life. He wrote about his weekend. So it is a diary. Guys, pay attention here. What is this form of writing? Is it an email? A diary? or an article, great, it is a diary. Guys, look here. Here we have a form of diary. What does a diary mean? It is a book in which you write down what happened to you. Guys, open your student's book page 25. You are going to skim Jack's diary to answer this question. Did Jack enjoy his last weekend? You can stop the video to find the answer. Go on. Let's see the answer. Did Jack enjoy his last weekend? Yes, he did. Great. How did you know? Excellent. Because Jack told us that his last Friday was great. And his last Saturday was very nice. Guys, open your student's book page 25. You are going to read the first part of Jack's diary. Before start reading, let's read the questions. 1. Where did Jack go? 2. When did he go? 3. Who did Jack go with? 4. What did he do there? 5. Did he like it? Don't forget to underline your answers on the text. Let's shadow read. Go on. My diary. Last Friday, I went to the shopping centre with my father, my mother and my sister. We arrived at 10 o'clock in the morning. We went to the shops and then we went to a restaurant. We had lunch there. I had a chicken sandwich 
and it was really good. In the afternoon, we went back home. It was a great day. Let's see the answers. Number one, where did Jack go? He went to the shopping center. Great. Two, when did he go? 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Three, who did Jack go with? Mother, father, and sister. Well done. Four, what did he do there? He went to the shops and had lunch at a restaurant. Great. Five, did he like it? Yes, he did. Good job. Guys, now you are going to read the second part of Jack's diary. Before start reading, let's read the questions. 1. Where did Jack go? 2. When did he go? 3. Who did Jack go with? 4. What did they do there? 5. Did he like it? Don't forget to underline your answers on the text. Let's shadow read. Go on. Last Saturday, I did my homework in the morning. Then, I visited my uncle and aunt. We went to the park with my cousins, and we had a great time there. We played basketball and football. In the evening, I went home. I was so tired. It was a very nice weekend. Let's see the answers. Number one, where did Jack go? He went to the park. Great. Number two, when did he go? In the morning. Good job. Three, who did Jack go with? His cousins. Great. Four, what did they do there? They played basketball and football. Great. Number five. Did he like it? Yes, he did. Good job. Guys, here we are going to learn how to write a diary. Look at these notes around the diary. Let's start with number one. Choose a day or days to write about. Here you have to start your diary with the day that you are going to write about. Here Jack wrote about his last Friday. 2. Where did you go? Here you have to talk about the place where you went. Here Jack went to the shopping center. 3. Who did you go with? Here Jack went with his father, mother, and sister. Here you have to write the name of the people you went with. 4. What did you do there? Here you have to talk about the activities you did at that time and place. Here Jack went to a restaurant and had lunch there. 5. Did you like it? Here you have to talk about your feelings about all things. Here Jack told us that it was a great day. Guys, what are the pieces of information that you need to write a diary? To write a diary about your last weekend, you need to think about date. You have to 
choose the day that you are going to write about. For example, last week, last Saturday, last Friday. Then you have to talk about the place where you went. For example, mall, restaurant, park. Then you have to write the name of the people you went with. For example, my family, my friends, my cousins. Then you have to write about the activities that you did at that time and place. For example, swimming, climbing, playing football. The last thing is your feeling. What is your feeling about everything at that day? For example, great, nice, bad. Guys, pay attention to this question. How do we write a diary about last weekend? Here we have five guidelines of writing a diary. You are going to put them in the correct order. Let me help you to do the first one. One, choose the day or days to write about. Now it's your turn. You can stop the video and do the task. Go on. Let's see the answers. Number two, where did you go? Three, who did you go with? Four, what did you do there? Five, did you like it? Good job. Guys, here we are going to talk about intensifiers. What does intensifier mean? It means a word that is used to emphasize an adjective or an adverb. Here we have three intensifiers. Very, so, really. We use them to emphasize our feeling about something. Let's have some examples. It was a very nice weekend. I was so tired. I had a chicken sandwich and it was really good. Look at the words nice, tired, and good. All of them are adjectives and we use before them intensifiers to emphasize our feelings about something. And at the end of these sentences, we have to use an exclamation mark. Now open your workbook page 19. Exercise number one. Rewrite the sentences using the words in brackets. Here you are going to rewrite four sentences by using the intensifiers between brackets. Let me help you to do the first one. One, my friend Saleh is good at board games. My friend Saleh is very good at board games. Now it's your turn. You can stop the video and do the task. Go on. Let's see the answers. Number two, Gary was hungry. He ate the whole cake. Gary was really hungry. 
He ate the whole cake. Great. Three. The new shopping center is big. The new shopping center is so big. Excellent. Four. I was surprised when I saw my cousin. I was very surprised when I saw my cousin. Well done. Guys, don't forget these guidelines because we are going to use them next lesson. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.